It's not a hobby, it's it's my profession. So I mean, investing into my body, investing the time, if it's five, 10 minutes after a practice, it, it's important. <laughs> There's so much trauma in your, in your head and everything you do in the sport, every session, whether it's grappling where you guys are jumping on your head and twisting it or whatever, or striking where you're taking impact and blows. Um, and, it, and it helps in all that aspect in the sense of being able to take, take shots, you know, concussion wise. Um, the strength of your neck di dictates a lot of your grappling strength too. A lot of people don't realize is like where your head goes, your body f follows. And so I use my head as like an extra limb when I'm grappling. The way I look at it is like the, the LeBron James and stuff like that who have been, been around for like 20 years and it's known that they spend millions on their body every year. And that's just by recovery. Like they don't train any harder than a lot of these guys. They just recover better. And that's prehab, that's exercises too. It's not just laying on a massage bed or whatever. It's, it's spending time in, on focusing on your recovery. I, I use good? it as like accessory work after after hard sessions. I'll usually spend five to ten minutes, about three times a week. So I try to typically go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes I'll I'll skip a few days, in, but I at least get three three a week. I had some bulge discs in the past, and I was getting stingers down my arm, and I was timid to shoot a takedown because I was scared of leading with my head and getting you know shocked down my arm. So I had to take a long time off, let those muscles calm down, nerves kind of go back to normal, and now. I've been using iron neck and my neck exercises and everything like that to try to strengthen the neck muscles so that I don't re-injure past injuries or get new injuries.